Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today, as you can tell, I'm gonna be bringing you an Abercrombie jeans haul or a collection video. I think I have five or six pairs to share with you. So hopefully this video will give you some insight as far as their jeans. Abercrombie, to me, always excels in the jeans department. They are my go-to retailer when I need to find a good new pair for any season. Of course, I will have everything linked down below. I believe all the tops I'm sharing with you are also from Abercrombie, so if you're curious on like my jewelry or my tops, that information will also be linked down below. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the first pair of jeans. So the first pair of jeans I'm going to be sharing with you today, I believe are my newest purchase from them. So these are their 90s relaxed jean. Do you have their straight jean in this version as well? So I will be able to share with you the comparison if you guys are curious. But for the most part, I'm a 25 across the board or size zero in Abercrombie jeans. I do tend to fluctuate between 25 and 26, but I will have like all the sizing and everything down below. But I feel like for the most part, everything runs true to size. Now, with that being said, I did pick these up in a short and I do wish I would have gotten these in the regular length only because I've started to wear this style of jean with tennis shoes and I feel like they would look a little bit better with the regular length. Now, I am 5'2", so it's kind of like right on the cusp of a size short and a regular, so I guess it's just personal preference. Um, the shorts definitely still work, but I think I would have preferred the regular. Now, with all that being said, there is no stretch in these jeans, which I'm actually starting to gravitate more towards. I don't feel like Abercrombie jeans really have a lot of stretch. For the most part, they're pretty structured, but I feel like they really hold you in. They make you feel like really confident if you struggle in like your midsection for any reason. These ones are a zipper fly, but I still feel like they hold you in really well. These have some distressing in the knees, some raw hem. It's nothing too frayed or distressed. They just look really lived in and worn in. Like these are your favorite pair of jeans that you wear all the time. These are a good medium wash. These, like I said, are my go-to to wear with sneakers, heels, dress them up, dress them down. This top is also from Abercrombie, but I'll have it linked down below. It is one of my recent favorites to go out for like girls night or date night, things like that. But these are probably my favorite jeans right now. If you are to get any jeans from my little collection here, I would recommend to go with these. Now these do sell out from time to time and I wish Abercrombie would do like the notify me when back in stock, but they haven't quite gotten there yet. Um, but just check back regularly because I feel like they do restock them quite a bit. All right, moving into the next pair. So these are the Abercrombie 90s straight jeans. So these ones are much more slim past the thighs versus the last pair I just had on were much more like wide and baggy. Maybe I'll be able to put a side by side, but if not, just rewind if you want to compare. These are more of like a bleached watch. I do have these in a size 25 and these to me are much more of like a spring jean the distressing on these are a little bit different it could just be the particular wash i have but in the back of the jeans i have like it there's like a step hem in the back so they're a little bit shorter in the back and honestly i feel like these are a little bit awkward to wear with sneakers so i highly recommend wearing these with like a heel and the heels i have on in this video are ones that I've constantly shared. They're by far my most worn heels. They're so dang comfortable, and I absolutely love finding any excuse to wear them, particularly with like a really simple outfit like this. This bodysuit is also from Abercrombie, and I've worn this out just like this with some fun, bright jewelry to give like pops of color. But these jeans are so comfortable for being a more structured pair of jeans. This is also like a cult favorite pair and a pair that you'll find circulating on TikTok and Instagram and all those sort of platforms. But they really get a 10 out of 10 for me and from a lot of other people because they really are that great. And I feel like for the price, they are very substantial pair of jeans and jeans that you will have for years and years to come without really breaking the bank. I feel like Abercrombie always has discounts, always has some sort of deal going on so you can get them at a reasonable rate, which is great. So these jeans I haven't worn since last spring and I forgot how much I love them. 
These are the Abercrombie Ultra High Rise Ankle Jeans in the white, obviously. I have come to find that almost all my jeans are distressed in some way, which I guess is just really my style, what I gravitate towards. But these have some pretty standard distressing. I would feel like nothing over the top. Like I feel like American Eagle always over does it when it comes to the distressing. No shade on American Eagle. But Abercrombie to me is just like really lived in and natural <laughs> distressing. Um, these fit very, very similar to the last two pair I shared with you. There's really no stretch. And these I actually have in a two. So I would recommend actually sizing up one in these jeans. And the one thing about the ankle straight is that they're more of like a flood or high waters. Is that like another way to call them? So you would definitely either have to like go up in the next length if you want them to be regular length. But I guess that kind of defe defeats the point of calling them an ankle length. So with these, I think it looks the prettiest when you have heels on to kind of elongate your leg. Um, or it could be really pretty with some like kitten heels. I know those are kind of big right now, not really my thing. But if you guys are into kitten heels, these would be a good pair of jeans to wear with those. Um, but I feel like these are really flattering on the leg and they're not too tight. They don't make my thighs feel uncomfortable in any way because I hate that sausage feeling. And when you get like a bunch of rippling on the leg, those don't do that at all. This bodysuit, um, or it's not a bodysuit, it's a cropped sure it looks like a bodysuit but everything like i mentioned will be linked down below and i love this combination of navy and white for the spring it's showing up more black but this is a true navy in person there you go you can see it more there but while i think these are a nice pair i don't love them as much as the last two so if you're going to be debating between any in this video i would definitely recommend the 90s style jeans those are by far my favorite that Abercrombie carries. This pair that I've switched into are probably one of their newer styles. I don't remember them carrying these like in the spring or summer last year. These are their vintage 70 flares. Now I would consider these more like a kick boot. You're not gonna have that dramatic flare at the bottom, but I feel like these are a very classic style pair of jeans for the fall and winter months. I love the way that these look with heeled booties. I actually wore this exact outfit for Valentine's Day. I love this like crimson red one shoulder bodysuit we have going on here. They still do have this online if you guys are interested. But the one thing I will say about these jeans, and I don't know if it's just my eyes playing tricks on me or the way that my frame is like proportion wise, I feel like I have a long torso, but for some reason, sometimes I feel like Abercrombie jeans and shorts, they're zipper flies look kind of off on me they look okay from the side but the front they look kind of frumpy um i don't know what that is um but these are a zipper fly they are a true like blue indigo medium wash pair of jeans i feel like this is like your classic go-to blue that will literally go with everything every color i love the way they look with brown boots you can wear it with black boots taupe like anything in your closet they are very comfortable i did get these in a uh, true size 25 they do have like a little bit of room but these would be like a good pair of jeans to wear at a like a restaurant that you know you're gonna eat a lot at because you do have like a little bit of room at the top but they feel very comfortable everywhere else I feel like they hit at the perfect length to wear with booties and I really don't have anything negative to say about them except that the zipper fly on me just looks proportionately a little off but other than that I really do like the styles these to me are like also a good pair of 90 jeans which I feel like is all the rage right now. And I have been watching Friends lately. I just started getting into it, like watching it all the way through. And I feel like these are a pair of jeans that Monica would wear. Monica always has like some sort of like a long sleeve, not crop top, but like her belly showing in like these type of like kick boot type of jeans. Leave me a comment down below who your favorite Friends character is. Mine is always a toss up between Phoebe and Joey. But with all that being said, I feel like you really can't go wrong with these jeans. They'll get you through so many different outfits and occasions. 
Last but not least are these split hem jeans. I can't remember the exact name of them, but the name will be listed down below as well as the link to them. So these are like a medium wash, but they're almost like a faded medium wash. They're a really pretty color. I would say they're a high rise, but not as high as the previous ones I've shown you. I feel like every other pair has been like an ultra high rise and I cannot get on board with the medium rise. I will never go back. They're just not my favorite. But anyways, these are super, super snug in the thighs, but not in a bad way. It's really just going to suck everything in and really emphasize your curves, whether you have nice hamstrings or glutes. These are a great pair of jeans to show those off. And this would, this is how I would really style these jeans, like going into the spring. I've shared this Abercrombie button up so many times probably in like three or four different Abercrombie videos of mine and if you haven't don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any future try-ons but with that being said I really love the unique style of these with the split hem and the inside of the legs I feel like it's just something a little bit different and they look really nice on the leg I feel like they elongate the leg and it's not too much of a split because I've seen other jeans where it just really looks awkward with heels or sneakers personally I would wear these with heels I feel like they kind of shorten my leg when I wear them with sneakers so just keep that in mind. These to me have a little bit of a stretch to them, but nothing too much. Like I said, Abercrombie jeans are usually more on the structured side, but these are also a really nice style that will get you through the spring and summer months. And if you live somewhere warmer than I do, you could also get away with wearing these in this uh, fall and winter. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. If you haven't already, be sure to leave me a comment down below. Which pair was your favorite? If you have any suggestions for upcoming videos, I always love incorporating what you wanna see on my channel, so don't hesitate to leave some suggestions or recommendations down below, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful day when you see this, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.